Hello everyone, this is Mr. Appel. I'm gonna show you how to solve this by elimination. Um, and so remember with elimination, our goal is to break this down from three equations and three variables down to two equations and two variables by eliminating one of the variables. Um, in this problem, the, the easiest one to eliminate is gonna be the y's. I noticed that the y's are, have the same coefficient and I could easily eliminate them. But that's almost exactly what happened in the Khan Academy video that you first watched. I'm gonna just make it a little more interesting because sometimes you'll have to do this. So I'm instead gonna eliminate the z's. Um, and it's a little bit more work, but again, it's just to make the point that sometimes that's which, what you have to do. So to eliminate the z's, I'm gonna start with um, the first and the third equation because they're set up already to eliminate. So the first and the third, I'm gonna do 3x plus y plus 2z equals five, and then 2x plus y minus 2z equals negative three. So that one's gonna be pretty easy because right now the z's will already cancel when I add. Um, and so I'm gonna get 3x plus 2x is 5x, y plus y is 2y, the z's cancel, and then I get five minus three, five plus negative three is two. Now we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna pick two, a different pair of equations. So we have to use the second equation because you always need to use all three in some form or another. Uh, so let's just use the second and third equations. So I'm gonna use these two equations. So in order to do that, I'm gonna have to change the z coefficient. So I want the z's to cancel out again because that's the variable that we decided to cancel. So I'm gonna think about what do I need to multiply by to make the z's have the same coefficient? And clearly that's just a two on the third equation. So I'm gonna multiply that entire equation by two. So the first one is still just x minus y plus four z equals 12. And then the third equation after multiplying by two is four x plus two y minus four z equals negative six. And now we can go ahead and add those two together. X plus four x is, whoops, let's try that again a little cleaner, is five x. Uh, that's negative y plus two y is one y. The z's cancel and that equals six. And so now we've got two equations and two variables, which again was the goal. So now I'm gonna recopy those. Don't you wish you could do this on your paper? You know you do. So now I've got this system of two equations and two variables, which should be pretty easy to solve. Um, I'm gonna eliminate the x's by just multiplying that first equation by a negative one. And so that's gonna become negative five x minus y equals negative six. So I just rewrote that. Now I'm gonna add the equations. The x's cancel. Two y and negative one y is positive y. Two and negative six is negative four. And y is negative four. Once we've got that, the rest is fairly easy. So I'm gonna take that negative four and plug it back in. Whoops, see, not what I meant to do. <laughs> gonna plug it back into one of the original equations with x and y. I'm gonna pick this one just because. So that's 5x plus negative 4 equals 6. Add the 4 to both sides and that's 5x equals 10. And so dividing by 5x equals 2. So I've got x and y, now we just need z. So I'm gonna go back to the original and pick one of the original problems. Um, I'll just pick this one just for no particular reason. So two times the X, which I now know is two, plus Y, which is negative four, minus two Z equals negative three. And let's clean that up and solve for Z. Four plus negative four. Oh, look at that, it cancels right out. Are you kidding me? Does it get any easier? minus two z equals negative three. Divide both sides by negative two, and we get z equals negative three over negative two, which is three halves, or you could write that as 1.5.
And that is that. And so when you write your answer, we're going to write it as an ordered triple. So 2 for the x, negative 4 for the y, and 1.5 or 3 halves. Either way would be fine. That's all for now. Thanks.